Ever feel like a bottle of wine sitting on a table is just a little bit too boring for you? We can fix that. I got this big piece of maple that came from a tree that I chainsaw and built in my niece's yard. So I'm gonna slice me off a piece of this, make our wine holder out of that. Now mainly I'm using this because it makes people really, really mad because slabs are made from gold and not wood. So we're not supposed to make stuff out of them. This board is simply too wide for my joiner, so I had to take the guard off and then join one side of the board. Now the other side, I still have this edge over here that's rough. I'm just gonna take that, push that up against this piece of MDF, take some hot glue, put a couple dabs on there so it doesn't go anywhere. Then I could run it through my planer. Once this top side's plane down, then I can flip it over and then finish the other side. I got three pieces of maple here, and when I put them together, that's gonna make for my wine rack. Now this could easily be done with some dimensional lumber too, probably a lot easier than taking a slab and trying to mill it up. Now, as far as the pattern goes, I've got a template here printed out. It took two sheets of paper, so I'm gonna tape these together, stick them on each one, and then cut them out individually. You could put them all together, cut it out at one time, but that's a whole lot of material there. And well, my bandsaw blade's a little bit dull. So I'm gonna do them one at a time, glue them together, and do some sanding. I'm gonna put some contact paper down and then I can glue my template onto this. That'll make it easier to peel up later on. Use some Super 77 to spray my template. Now I can stick it on here. Just so it doesn't peel up, packing tape. Of course, I was on the third one, almost done, and then uh, my blade broke, so road trip. All right, I got a whole lot of clamps, and so now I gotta take some glue and clamp all these things up. The glue is dry, it's time to do, well, a whole lot of sanding, but that's okay because I get to use this, the spindle sander. I love the spindle sander. I don't know why, I just really do. And this is gonna take a while, so I've got my headphones, I'm gonna throw those on and go into montage mode. Well, that took me about two and a half hours to get the whole thing sanded down. And that's from completely rough wood all the way down to its final sanding. So now I'm gonna apply some Osmo oil. Just gonna buff it in with this white scotch spray pad and then wipe off all the extra, let it soak in, throw another coat on there tomorrow. And then this thing's gonna be ready to rock and roll.
Well, now we can start to see some of that figure. There's some bird's eye in this maple, which is really cool. Before we get to see the final results, let me give a shout out to the newest members of our superhero community over on Patreon, Theremy Hopkins, Nicholas Ross, DJ Yee, Dr. Todd Thomas, Jack Healy, and Dean Peterson. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you're interested in getting some extra videos, behind the scenes, sneak peeks, bonus content, stuff that's not even on social media. It's only on Patreon. Head on over to patreon.com slash newtonmakes. Sign up today and, well, just join a really cool group of people. This ended up being a pretty fun project for something that was a bit spur of the moment. I tend to gravitate towards projects that have a lot of clean lines, and this is obviously the complete opposite of that. The lines go all over the place, but that's what kind of makes this one really cool. Now that this one's over with, I think I should make more organic looking projects because this one was just simply a whole lot of fun. I had to draw a template to make this project, so I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description below so that you can download that template if you want to give this one a shot. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. You stayed to the end of this video, so you might as well watch this other one up here. And until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome. See ya.